Hi guys, it's Kate from Open Door Council and Life Coaching. Today we are going to be calling Mental Health Monday. Normally I come on and do a Money Monday, but I'm also going to be incorporating some Mental Health Mondays because it's so important that we have good mental health. And that's actually what we're going to be talking about tonight, the importance of mental health. So our mental health is important. It's an important part of our well-being. Okay, we are a mind, body, and spirit wellness resource center. Mental health falls under that. It's important that we have good mental health. This aspect of our welfare determines how we're able to operate psychologically, emotionally, and socially among others, okay? Uh, considering how much our role, the role in mental health plays in each aspect of our life, it's important to guard and improve psychological wellness using appropriate measures because different circumstances can affect our mental health. Um, we're gonna be talking about some risk factors and signs that may indicate mental distress, uh, but most importantly, diving into the benefits of having good mental health. So some risk factors include, um, uh, okay, well, before we get there, uh, mental health is described as a, a state of well-being where a person is able to cope with normal stresses of life. Okay, that's mental health is described as a state of well-being where people are able to deal with like the normal stresses of life. And um, in life, we may be throwing some curveballs. And so that's oftentimes where we need to ask for some help because we can't always navigate things. Um, so some following risks or some following factors listed below. So here we go. We're going to have them all listed out that may affect well-being and could increase our risk of developing psychological disorders. If we have, okay, number so number one, if we had childhood abuse, when a child is subject to physical abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, neglect, it can actually lead to severe mental and or emotional distress, okay? Abuse also increases the risk of developing mental disorders like depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, and personality disorders. Children who have been abused may eventually deal with alcohol or substance abuse. And beyond mental health challenges, child abuse may also lead to medical complications such as diabetes, stroke, or forms of heart disease. Um, another risk uh, factor is the environment. So a strong contributor to mental wellness is our environment. Uh, adverse environmental circumstances can ca can cause a negative effect in our psychological wellness. So, um, like where I live, there's not a lot of sunshine. <laughs> and it actually, there's something called seasonal affective disorder, SAD. And a lot of people struggle with that, including myself, if we have just a poor environment. Air pollution can help, can uh, produce negative effects like depression. Um, biology, our actual biological makeup, uh, can be, um, be an issue because it runs in our families, uh, according to this article that I am reading from, which I will share the link in the comments below. Conditions like autism, uh, ADHD, bipolar disorder, depression, schizophrenia, uh, lifestyle as well. Uh, lifestyle can also impact uh, our mental health like poor diet, alcohol consumption, substance abuse, risky sexual behavior, etc. Some signs that we have mental health problems would be like switching and eating habits, um, whether you're overeating or undereating, a notice reduction, noticeable reduction in your energy levels, uh, perhaps being more of a recluse or shying away from other people, um, feeling persistently in despair, indulging in substances more than usual, uh, experiencing confusion or anger, guilt or worry, severe mood swings, uh, picking fights with family and friends, hearing voices with no identif identifiable source, um, thinking of self-harm or causing harm to others, or even being unable to perform daily tasks. These are some of the very questions that are asked on the intake paperwork when I work with people, just revealing some mental health struggles. So the benefits of good mental health um, we have the stronger ability to cope with life stressors when we have good, stable mental health. Um, we oftentimes, those of us who have a stronger um, mental health, we have a positive self-image. We're able to um, be confident in who we are. Um, and 
you know, the person that has like a more flourishing mental health is also likely to focus on the good things and about themselves versus only ever focusing on the negative. Uh, another thing is if you have good uh, benefit of good mental health is having healthy relationships. Uh, when we're not in emotional distress, we can. It's easier to show up for people and love well. Uh, better productivity. Dealing with depression can impact our productivity levels, right? I mean, I've lived that. It's very true. Uh, people with higher, with a good mental health, have higher quality of life. In general, um, giving room for greater participation in your community, like volunteering and doing hobbies. And uh, we wanna make sure we maintain the health we have. If we have good mental health, we wanna maintain that. And some of the ways to do that is doing regular exercise, trying meditation or prayer. I would highly recommend um, either of those. Prioritizing sleep is a big one. Um, keeping in touch with loved ones, staying close to those who love us and whom we love. Uh, learning coping skills for life. That's something that I offer in life skills counseling is helping to learn some coping skills and maintaining a positive outlook on life. That's how to maintain your mental health. But if you are someone who is struggling with your mental health, please, please reach out. Um, you're not struggling alone. You don't have to do this alone. There are people who can help you. And maybe you've reached out 50 times already and nothing has helped. Um, try one more time, please please reach out. Do not struggle alone. You are worth having a happy, healthy life, including mental health. Okay. Um, dead serious. I'm, I, I'm so serious. Please reach out. If you need help, do not struggle alone. I'm Kate from Open Door Counseling Life Coaching, and that's your Mental Health Monday.